see this good, but first we're gonna go with the number one thing, and that is... There can't be two alpha titans. Who bows to who? Kong bows to no one. There's something provoking into war. All right, guys, what is going on? Today's video is exciting. It's huge, and I'm going to explain to you what is going on. All right, well, as you know, we are putting the fully forged 392 Wing Kong, the 5.7 motor in Kong right there, the Whipple Rams getting pulled on Sunday, 99% chance, hopefully. That was the plan. Hopefully nothing's really changed. But talking to Steve, it's – we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's getting pulled Sunday still, but uh, we're going to go from there. But – Talking to a bunch of people, you know, I was hoping that my just my Kenny Bell booster pump would have sufficed in the Ram for now, even on 12 pounds of boost. Talking to a bunch of people, they're saying, no way, you're going to be making way too much power, even for the booster pump stock lines. So what did we do? We went out and basically got, no, we didn't basically get it. We are getting an entire fuel system upgrade. I've been ordering parts like crazy. So, yeah, so that is what's going on. We have parts from four. We have parts from Spalab. We have parts from some couple fittings from eBay. Not eBay, I'm sorry. Amazon, Racetronics, all different stuffs because you got to get all these fittings and all this other stuff together. That is what we did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all the things that I've gotten so far. We are missing a couple fittings. That's no big deal. Little tiny things. No need to know. And I'm going to go over the hat that I'm using which is not MMX, and it is not the one Rick Tabs hat. I'm going to show you what I did personally to get the hat for the fuel system. But first, guys, let's start unboxing all the stuff, and I'll show you what we got. All right, guys, hope you can see this good. But first, we're going to go with the number one thing, and that is not number one thing, but it's one of the things I've even opened yet. It is a fuel pressure regulator from 4. We're going to be running in a return line. My plan was to not actually run a return line. I wanted to go returnless. But talking to guys and a bunch of other people, they said, if you're going to do it, do it right the first time. So we actually are going to go with a full return line. What we have is two 8AN in-feed and out-feed. And we're going to run a 6AN on the actual return line. Yeah, some people were like, yeah, why didn't you go 8? Why didn't you go 8? I didn't think 8 was necessary. Uh, people have made a lot of power on 6 and possibly smaller. And it's just a return line, no big deal. But if we do want to make more power, you can actually undo the 6. We can put an 8A in line in and an 8A in fittings in. No big deal. So I haven't even opened this yet. We'll open it right now. This is they got it from 4. A lot of the, most of the actual real stuff, not real stuff, but like the stuff is from 4. Like the fuel pressure regulator. As you can see, very nice. For fuel pressure regulator, yes, we did go to six return, and like I said, you can always eh, undo the six, comes right off. I haven't even messed with it yet. And we can put an 8A in fitting in, no big deal. And we can run all 8A in. Sorry, I'm so close to the camera, I'm trying to show you this. We have a check valve, and I'm going to tell you why we have a check valve. We also have the Hellcat fuel pressure sensor going into one of the rails. We have an FPC check valve, both 8A in lines. We want just a little adapter for the uh, for the uh, fuel pressure sensor to go into the line. We have a fuel pressure gauge. All from, all this stuff I am showing you right now is all from four. And I have something else from four. Where did I put the box? Actually, hold on, fellas. It's right here. Right here. This is the biggest part of what we're going to run, and that is bam, four's FC2 control. We have all the adapt, all the, I bought everything with the FC2 control. The extra pigtails, the harness, everything. Here's the wiring for the, uh, for the uh, FC2 controller for the power grid, power mean. Wiring for the pump. I'm tossing it, no big deal. This is the actual FC2 controller, so you guys can see this. I know I opened this up already. I feel like it's sealed bag still. I'll get close so you can see it. FC2 controller. We have 230 amps pre-installed. So what's what we got for that? A couple little fittings. It all goes with that stuff. This stuff here. Like I said I got a lot of I got a lot of stuff in, guys. A lot of stuff. Here's my four. Oh, geez. Gotta put everything back together. 
where she goes is which box. All right. Now we're going to go with all base, the others, all the little fittings and all the other stuff that we got. And I actually already made one of the lines. Now I got this line right here. It's an 8AN line, FPTFE, PTFE fuel line, as you can see, PTFE, stainless steel, uh, nylon braided. This is a great quality line. Thank you, Spalab, for that. We also have... Well, I've gave us a bunch of little fittings. Bunch of fittings. We are going to need more because we're doing like, you know, the full the full return line. So we do need a couple more fittings. A lot of the, uh, I, know, I think we need a couple 90s and a couple more straights. That's no big deal. A couple other little fittings. We also have an extension. The fuel pre fuel pressure, the fuel pressure sensor extension. That's just from Tap Performance from Rick Tap. Thank you very much. This lab also gives you this thing. After you put the fittings on, because these things are a pain in the ass to put on, and I did put one on. Where is it? Right here. Sorry about that, guys. The camera cut out, but yes, these fittings are a pain in the ass to put on. I actually put it in my, I had to get it in my vise. They said to leave like a one millimeter in between there to get it a little, you don't go all the way in, leave about a one millimeter. But I put it in my vise, and I chewed it up a little bit. No big deal. It's not a big deal. But yeah, this is going to go to the fuel pump and to the hat. And I'm going to show you the back that in a little bit. This is our fuel pump. Walbur fuel pump. Now this pump, I don't even know many people that have this. This is actually, everyone out and goes get to the Hellcat 525. This is actually the Walbur, well, Walbur 535. It's the one step up. It pumps more than the 525, obviously. It's the 535. Now this does not actually come with a check valve. Like almost all the pumps that come, they come with a check valve. That is why I had a... a, a a check valve from four so the, it takes away the need of obviously check valve inside i want to put a check valve in if i would have got the 525 but i want it more flow and as you know right now i'm only considered running race gas um, i'm sorry uh, 93 and race gas i'm not running e85 we can run full e85 with this and with this pump and i am keeping the booster pump for now with this and the booster pump we will outflow two 450s and two 450s, from I'm, I'm not mistaken, can pretty much handle almost a thousand wheel horsepower on E85. So between that and the Walbro and the booster pump that I have, I think we'll have no problem with the fuel I'm, I'm going. Right now, we still have the stock injectors. The stock injectors I'm going to use for now because we're not turning it up crazy. They can handle 800 wheel horsepower on gas, and I think 95% uh, duty cycle. We're not going to be running that. We're probably going to be around 7, 750. So we'll be around 80% you know, duty cycle, maybe 85. So we're still going on the injectors. I am going to get them upgraded. I don't know what size I'm going with yet. Fuel pressure sensor. That I do not 100% know because I don't know if I'm going to full run E all the time. But I will have the fuel system to run E and can make all the power that we need. Like I said, guys, just a bunch of fittings. All right, so what I'm doing with the basket, I am actually customizing the stock basket. I put in 8 a.m. fitting here for the feed, and this is a 6 a.m. fitting for the return. I also have an electrical wiring fitting right here. That is going to be for the pump, and we're going to run the stock fuel level sensor right to here. And the remote wire, I think that gets wired into the FC2 controller. So waiting for like Rick Tab to come out with his... Uh, fuel hat for the rams which i don't know when that's going to be so i decided to buy a couple fittings and customize uh kevin bennett sent me this he's like yeah work on it make a thing out of it no problem so when we do get the new hat in we can obviously just swap this out put the new one in put the fitting we'll get new fittings obviously for the new one and can reconnect the lines it'll be an easy swap it won't be anything hard steve literally put a fuel level sensor this thing in in less than an hour so dropping out the old basket and i am going to put all sealant around there they do have ptfe washers on right now and i'm going to go out and get sealant around all the creeks all the edges inside i'm going to make sure this and i'm going to get the gas resistant obviously sealant oil resistant sealant and anything i need to make this thing 100 percent people don't like customizing baskets well the only other basket that's out for this or uh, the only other hat fuel hat as you call it that's out is the mmx MMX is like $1,300, and you got to get hydromat things because it doesn't have a basket with it. I like the basket. I don't want to go, you know, I like the basket idea. So that's the number one reason I want to customize this thing. So I'm going to give this customized until, like I said, Rick Tap and Tap Performance come out with their fuel hat. No big deal. We'll swap it out. Bing, bang, boom. 
Alright guys, I'm really sorry. I don't know what's going on. My phone keeps cutting out in the middle of me talking every single time. It's like the fourth time this happened to me. So I'm really sorry if this video is a little chopped up and you're like, you know, you hear me say what the F or whatever. But yeah, we have all the fuel system stuff. We are, like I said, we're staying with the stock injectors for now. We are going to be upgrading. If I had the money, well, excuse me, if I had the money to upgrade them before we start the motor up and all that, then yeah, we'll get it going. We have to see how things go. So if you guys are also wondering, the heads can package is already sold on the on this right here. If anything changes on that, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, everything is sold. Um, so the fuel system, yeah, we're waiting on Rick Tap to come out with his basket, uh, his fuel hat for the Rams, customizing it. But I don't know when that's going to be. It could be a couple of months. It could be who knows. So that's why I'm customizing the stock fuel basket to make it work. I'm doing it the right way. I'm gonna, I got all PTFE washers. I'm going to get the proper sealant to seal all the little edges, creeks, everything, whatever I need to do to properly seal it, and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.